Hello YouTubers. I wanted to put a uh, video together to show you a 10 by 16 gravel pad that I built for a Dirkskin uh, shed. It's a portable shed they're going to deliver to my house. Um, it's on skids and with a wood floor. Um, so I couldn't find a video out there uh, that looked similar to what I'm doing. So hopefully this will be a helpful video for you uh, YouTubers when your future project on putting a 10 by 16 gravel pad together. So what I end up using is uh, two 10 foot uh, six by six pressure treated uh, number two ground contact. They're cedar tone, so they got that cedar look, but they're the, your, your typical pressure treated pine, uh, yellow pine uh, six by six post. I got them at Home Depot. That's all they carry. That must be a, a high seller. That's why they only carry those. Um, ended up going with the 10 footers on the end because uh, the sheds can be 10 by 16. Ended up going with eight foot uh, 10 by six post on the outside. Uh, just uh, for easier handling and uh, for cost and ended up having to uh, I didn't realize how much slope I had uh, when I put this together so I had to end up getting another eight foot six by six post cutting it in half to four foot as you can see and uh, I used that to build up to the gray level um, because it was way too much of a slope just uh, Put it I put the six by six post under the uh, about a two inch uh, compacted gravel and I did go about two inches all the way around uh, compact gravel base to make it a good base for a six by six post to, to sit on I did use the L bracket on each end to tie it in uh, I wish I would have uh, if I was thinking when I was putting together put the uh, outside uh, right inside on the dimension so I can tie it in by putting the eight foot post on, uh, on top of each other. That would have been a nice clean tie in. So, what I ended up doing is how I placed two eight footers, it had to be a total of four, on this, this side um, to build it up to grade level. Um, and I just used my two eight footers on this end. He ended up having to use. Um, five loads of three quarter inch washed gravel end up being close to 15,600 pounds of gravel because I was uh, from about half of it, it was uh, five inches uh, five to six inches deep and then it went to about 12 inches deep there by the other four foot so um, I had to use a how I hauled it was a trailer a little uh, this little trailer over here I used it in a five loads with that um, uh, when you go to your local quarry make sure they have a loader with a scale on it um, which is very helpful because I went to one quarry they didn't they loaded my trailer and I thought I was, my trailer wasn't gonna make it home I had what I was way overloaded um, this other quarry I went to they had scale on the on the loader and they got me real close to 3,000 pounds each time I went there and I, I felt pretty safe getting that load home on that trailer. So, um, I hope this is helpful in building your uh, next pad. The reason I went with gravel is cost. Total, total cost for this pad, $590.60. Some of you may think, wow, I put way too much money in it. I was looking at concrete, I got some concrete bids. One was 1200 without even looking. So he probably would have charged you more with a with a slope. Another guy was 1900, he came out and looked. So I was probably thinking I was gonna be getting close to 1900 to 2000 to pour concrete. But with a dirt skin shed, it's got the wood runners underneath with a wood floor, I thought that was an overkill. Um, thought about having someone come out and build on top of the concrete pad but i just liked the way dirt skin sheds looked and the way they were built they're a kansas made shed i'm here in kansas um so i just went with them um another thing to keep in mind is make sure you know where your utilities are don't do not build over utilities i called out a plumber 
Uh, he used a camera with a locator. He ran a camera down my sewer line with a locator and where those two uh, metal uh, fence posts sticking up under the ground. Those are, uh, that's my sewer line and I was gonna build over that. So I'm thankful I remembered to do that. It cost 115 bucks. I think it's well spent. So um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments section below. Uh, if there's something here you see that I did, don't uh, you don't like or like, please please post. Um, I did use half inch by two foot uh, rebar to secure these six by six posts in the ground. So I think that is it. Um, enjoy. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.